What's up nomads? It's been a month since school has started and so in today's video I'm going to be showing you what my typical weekend looks like as a full-time student and as a part-time YouTuber. Since school is still online until next semester, my morning routines has not changed that much since school has started, but I still had to make some minor tweaks. On the weekends I try to sleep in as much as I can, but since I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, my body just naturally wakes up at that time. Before coming to the Philippines, I used to wake up at 6 a.m. and I wanted to see if waking up an hour earlier would make any difference, and it has by a lot. I can get one more hour out of my day to do anything I am mainly focusing on that particular day. This weekend's priority was studying for my pre-meds that I have this upcoming Thursday and creating video ideas for this upcoming weekend to film instead of filming one day and cramming the limited hours I have to upload it by Tuesday or Thursday. So creating your videos and batches will reduce the amount of field time you have to do overall. As the saying goes, the lesser the better. This is so crucial for me since I have to divide my time for the day according to what needs to be prioritized. After I finally get out of bed and wake up my body by taking a nice cold shower, brushing my teeth and every other thing else that I do in the bathroom, I come back to my room to make my bed because I cannot start my day without doing that. I literally cannot function if my bed is not made because I can turn around and see that my bed is not made and it just like drives me crazy. <laughs> it really does. So that's the next thing that I do after I do my morning routine inside the bathroom. And then I go straight to my desk. Um, after a few hours of doing homework or studying, I take a break by going to the gym for an hour, an hour and a half, depending on what I'm working out on that day. basically um, so today I was working on arms so I stayed in for an hour and 15 minutes And then I come back home to get ready and then leave my room because I'm tired of seeing the same four walls every single freaking day. <laughs> like I'm so tired. 
So where we're going today is this place called Coffee Shop that I highly suggest everyone going to or just coming to this area. It's called IT Park and it's a gated community within the city and everything here is open late or if not 24 hours because of the call centers that are in this area. So that's where we're going to be going today. And Coffee Bay is like, they have such good coffee, teas, iced teas. And the desserts also are really good. I can't have any today, but trust me when I tell you that their stuff is good. And take it from a person that is a foodie. So just go there and you will not be disappointed. But yeah, you can come here literally three or four o'clock in the morning and people will still be there. And I'm so surprised every time when I come here because it's always packed, no matter what day of the week. It's crazy. And then after studying for I don't know how many hours, it felt for like forever, but I was mentally drained. And so I just came back home, tried watching this movie, but ended up falling asleep because I was just so freaking tired. <laughs> like I was, I'm telling you, I was literally tired. So I just crashed at midnight and then we walk into the next morning where I just wake up a little later than usual just because it's Sunday and it's my lazy day typically and instead of doing my morning routine I just go straight to get my cup of coffee which is cold normally because every time I have hot coffee I don't know why but I always burn my tongue and have a blister for the next couple days and it annoys me every time I eat food or drink water or anything. So I have to get my nice cup of cold brew coffee. I do editing for an hour and guess what guys? I'm finally gonna be coming a content creator because I switched to Adobe Premiere. I'm so excited so don't judge me if I'm watching 20 minute tutorials on the basic essentials for editing videos. So don't judge me on that part, okay? But <laughs> this guy does a really good way of explaining things. But after I did this, I went to this restaurant called Abaca where they served the best pecan waffles that you've ever seen in your life i mean look at this i don't have to say nothing look at that afterwards i saw this really art, cool art gallery in the mall um and i just wanted to see what the artists of cebu had to offer and look at these pieces guys these are like amazing this one was really cool when you look up closely i don't know what this bar but like it's just so formless like you can create any emotions that you want when you create art and I love that I mean this one was my favorite one like look at that that's crazy these ones were cool too those ones were actually made out of fabric believe it or not that was cool this one was made out of wood my favorite one by far these were sketches amazing paintings i mean look at this the amount of detail these people go into when they express themselves through art it's amazing to me it really is like i just can look at art all the time and then i end my day by editing this exact video that took me forever and that's about it guys so I'll see you guys in the next videos bye